Charlene Grant has always taught her children about their history as black Canadians because she says their schools didn't. <laughs> when my child was in grade 10 and she realized <laughs> history class, everything that was being taught did not talk about her. She gave her daughter a plan. This is how you fight that. Every assignment you get, do it on the black experience, what was happening at that time. Half of our black students aren't making the choice to pursue an academic stream in high school. In recent our weeks, black, Ontario got rid of the practice of streaming in high schools, which was found to steer black students away from university track courses. But advocates like Grant demand more change. The curriculum is, is key. In Nova Scotia, there are two African-focused elective courses at a high school level, but this professor says that's not enough. When we're in science, we should be talking about black scientists. When we're in math, why aren't we talking about black contributions to math? So often, even when black subjects are being taught, they're ghettoized into black history. The push to make the black Canadian experience a more central part of the curriculum isn't new. But many feel that right now, the focus on fighting systemic racism might mean something will come of it. Make this, if you will, a teachable moment, how we can strengthen the uh, curriculum ties. BC's uh, Minister of Education has been consulting with black history organizations. I want to believe in their honesty and I want to believe that they truly want to make a change because we want to live in a society that is fair for all of us. And Charlene Grant thinks now is the time too. Her oldest son is off to university, but her youngest still has lots of years left in the public school system. I want my children to have a better, a better, um, a better future, a better chance. It's one of the reasons why I go, because I'm hopeful. Hopeful that a day is close when students of all backgrounds will learn about black history as a part of learning about Canada. Deanna Simonac-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.